guys so much for tuning in today. Listen, today's episode is all about quick date night meals for the person who really don't know how to cook. Today I'm gonna show you guys, women, guys, however you identify, honey. I'm gonna show you today how to make something look softer, amazing, taste good, but not a whole lot of time in the kitchen, and you ain't even gotta cook a whole lot of things. This is for the person who ain't got it together, help, I can't cook type person, and you wanna impress the person that's coming over to see you. So, let me tell you something about date night in, especially since we are quarantined, everybody is eating at home, you're supposed to be eating at home, you're supposed to be staying at home, and you are supposed to be wearing your mask. So what I need you to do, is put on something cute, like me, and get to cooking. This is gonna be so easy, you guys. Like I said, this is for the single man, the single woman, or however you identify, uh, to get something quick on the table and you don't really know how to cook. All right, so the first thing I got is salmon. Now, this is very, very easy to cook, y'all. Salmon is a super popular dish. You know, I don't know what it is about black folks especially. They think you make salmon, lobster, and shrimp, baby. It's like the dog gonna lure for ton of food. Ooh, salmon! Ooh, Lord! Shrimp! Oh, baby! <laughs> That's how y'all be out there. So I picked salmon. Now you can use any type of protein that you want to, but if you're trying to get it quick, the girl done called you. Hello, what you doing? I hate to that. I really wanna see you. Like, I I really don't know why I'm telling you this, but I can't get you out of my mind. All right, come on over. How about this? This is what you need to say, fellas. How about this? You come over Friday, I'll make you a little something, something, and then, you know, we can just kick it. You know what I'm saying? After she get her corona test. Okay, that sounds good. Like, what time you want me to be there? You gonna cook? Yeah, I'm gonna cook. You know how to cook? Okay. What, yo, what you like? Oh my God, I love salmon. Oh, sorry, you gotta pronounce the L. Salmon, I love salmon. Like, if you can make that, that'll be good. All right, I got you. Okay, Friday it is, boom. So, you really don't know how to cook, this is what you do. All right, you got you some salmon here. Go to your local grocery store, get a fresh salmon filet. Don't use frozen, okay? Fresh is really, really good. Ask the person at the counter to give you some salmon. Tell them to remove the skin, cause you don't really know how to cook it with the skin on. You, you, ain't, you ain't got that yet. And tell them to cut it into pieces. It should look like this right here, okay, when you get it. And you can also buy pre-cut salmon, okay? Just make sure you don't buy the one with the season up in there, cause that stuff don't be sopped up. They be thinking that it is talking about bourbon glaze and Old Bay season and all that. Had them little dust on there, sprinkles. Don't do that, it gonna be sopped up. Don't do that. Get you this, blank canvas right here, okay? That's what you want, all right? So we got some salmon. Then we're gonna be making some potatoes, instant. I'm gonna show you how to hook them up, okay? Baby red mashed potatoes. Get the one with the skin in there, make it like you done did some. Then we're gonna saute some spinach and make a really, really quick champagne sauce to go on top when the salmon is done. So I'm gonna start with the salmon. It does not take a long time. Now you can totally not listen now. What you can do is you can preheat your oven, you can season the salmon, pop it in there. Now if you can take a shower between seven to eight minutes, that's if you don't need a shower longer than that. Cause I know some of y'all be out there smelling sopped up like earring backs. That ain't good, okay? That ain't stopped up. Now you need to go and dip that down the Jordan River. So if you know that you can't take a quick whole bath, that's what they call it, you can pop this in the oven for seven or eight minutes and it will cook on its own. But I like to sear mine in my cast iron and flip it over. Plus it's super easy, y'all, and it's gonna look like you done really did something, okay? So I got my salmon here. What we gonna do is season it. Okay, we've got to season it. Sprinkle it on there with your best seasoning that you got. Your sopped up seasoning, praise God. Put that on there, like that, okay? And you can use blackening seasoning if you want to, but make sure it is seasoned, okay? And then I've got my pan smoking hot here. I've already got my water on, so you gotta walk into bubble gum. You can put your water on, or you can pop these in the microwave, but I really want you to do it on the stove. Put your water on already for your potatoes. See, we got two things going right here, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and sear the salmon. I'm gonna put a little oil down. So if you don't know how to cook, let me tell you what you do. You're trying to impress, put your cap full of oil down in there. You see, it's smoking like an angry black woman, baby. Okay, this is, um, ooh, Lord, honey, that's Pam. Her name Pam. We're gonna put her down in there. So when it's smoking like that, here you go. You're gonna put it down, put your salmon down, 
Now that you got it down, guess what you're gonna do? You're gonna season the other side. We season both sides, why? Cause we eat both sides. You're gonna be eating both sides tonight, baby. Or they gonna be eating both sides tonight. If you cook this food right, <laughs> baby, we sucked up, sucking you up and everybody else food. Praise God. Put it down, don't bother it. I am on medium heat right now. And you want it to just stick there for about two minutes. Now you can also put it in your air fryer or you have a convection oven or whatever, but I like a soupy crispy skin on the top and the bottom. So don't move it like I just did. Just wanted to make sure it was doing what it's supposed to do. I was signifying as my daddy would say. Now I got my hands nice and clean because I touched protein and I did not want to cross contaminate what the hell? I didn't want to do that, okay? Have y'all talked about me in the comments? <laughs> we ain't not gonna do that. So I got my water boiling. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start on the potatoes. So I got these Idaho baby red mashed potatoes. Snice and silky smooth. I love these so much. My mommy used to make these all the time for me. And so they're super seasoned and amazing. So you just wanna cut it. Once the water starts boiling, you just cut it off, okay? And then you add in your potatoes. Now this is super seasoned, okay? So you don't have to add in any salt or anything like that. Put them potatoes down up in there and stir it around like that. What you need to say? Sing it in the background. <laughs> and we're gonna add some heavy cream and a little bit of Parmesan cheese to the potatoes, y'all. Super easy, see? She's still at home and he's still at home getting dressed. Now this is a trick that my mama always did. She do this with grits and everything, and potatoes, and that's called whipping them. You whip them, just like that. Get them nice and creamy. Oop, fell out. Put it back in. <laughs> Maybe a lot of that going on for the date night. <laughs> Jeez, fuck. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of heavy cream in there. Just a splash. Like I said, it's gonna make the potatoes taste really homemade and rich. She's gonna be like, oh my God. Go, he made all my potatoes for me! And be excited. And then you definitely probably gonna get a little something, something. Or, you know, a second date. If you do that, okay? So you stir it around. Baby, these potatoes is, baby, stiff. Baby, they need a little bit more cream, baby. They acting like a girl at a prom. They can't dance. I ain't got time. Put a little bit up now, like that right there. Okay? Until you like it, okay? So this is nice and creamy. Which a lot of cream action should be happening if this goes right. Then what I want you to do, see, our salmon is still browning really, really good. Put you a little Parmesan. Just throw that on in there. Okay, a little Caucasian cheese, what I call this white cheese. Put it on in there, okay? Just like that. Put that down, stir it around in there. Just like this, super easy, y'all. Now, you just want to finish it off with butter. Let the spirit lead you on that, okay? And now you got some really good homemade tasting potatoes. And as you guys know, all the ingredients will be in the recipe box. Done. Now, we're moving on to the salmon. We're gonna flip it, smack it, and rub it down. Oops, hold on. Just like that. You flip it over. Notice I flipped it away from me. That's what you wanna do. And then all I like to do is turn it down. And then we're gonna put the lid on to kind of let it steam, okay, for about three minutes. Now, cooking salmon is like a steak. If you like well done, you can cook it until it's really, really firm, you know, like a plastic booty, we always say that. And then, if you like it medium rare or medium well, you can cook until it's slightly, slightly, slightly done in the middle. Up to you, however you wanna do it, okay? Now we got our potatoes done. We put our butter in there, our cheese, our cream. They taste like they're gonna be homemade. We're gonna saute some spinach really, really quick, y'all. Super, super easy. This is gonna be amazing. They're gonna think you did a whole lot of nothing, okay? You ain't did nothing. Put your little butter down. That's how I like to do it, okay? And let that melt. Now, I've got some garlic paste. They sell this at the grocery store in the produce section. That way you ain't gotta be chopping garlic and doing all that stuff. Use your little garlic paste. It's really, really good. It's amazing. And look, ain't nobody gonna know. Look, it just it just squirts out. It's day night. Gonna be a lot of that going on. <laughs> Quiet on the set! I've got some spinach here from my garden, my California garden. Or, 
from Kroger. We're gonna heat that up. Look, we back, we back in class now. We're gonna heat that up. And I know it looks like it's a lot of spinach, y'all, but it's not. Spinach is just like how your paycheck sometimes is. You think you're getting this, and then when Uncle Tom come, or hell, Donald Trump at this part, <laughs> you ain't got hardly nothing left. You know what I'm talking about? Especially y'all out there on that child support. I know. I feel for you. Because I love you. <laughs> All right, don't take that much, but put it down in there. Okay, when well you got the garlic and the butter in there for a couple minutes, oh, it smells so good. And you just put your spinach down in there, okay? If you wanna cook more spinach, up to you, but it's not going to take a long time at all. We put it in there. I'm gonna season it once it's kind of wilted down and then we're gonna plate it up. I wanna go ahead and make a champagne sauce after our spinach is done that is with the salmon. Super easy, super simple. We're gonna plate it up and you are ready for quick date night. Now you wanna be careful with that garlic now. <laughs> you know it come out in some other areas later, so if this is you making the quick date night meal tonight, Baby, don't use no asparagus and all that stuff, baby, because they're going to be running like Flojo. Don't do that, okay? You want them to come into your house, not run out of your house when you, you know. Don't do that. Just don't do it. Put this in your seasoning. The best seasoning on the planet, baby. Put your seasoning in, and that's it. We are done. We got our potatoes done. We got our spinach. Yes, I am touching this. Don't do that at home. Don't do that at home. I'm gonna taste it to make sure it's good. Always taste your food because you don't know if you gotta go get some Popeyes or maybe order from an Italian restaurant and play it up. Mmm. Hallelujah. All right, so our salmon is done. Look how pretty that looks. While you have the salmon still in the skillet, let me tell you what you're gonna do. I'm just gonna throw this over my shoulder because I keep it gangster over here. Okay, we're gonna take some more butter. I'm gonna go ahead and just make a simple sauce while it's in the pan, okay? A little bit of garlic, your same garlic paste. You're just recycling, doing the, using the same ingredients. She ain't gonna know, she gonna be like, oh my God, girl, it was so seasoned, it was so good. And then the girlfriend gonna be like, so did you give him some or not? Nah. At least that's what my girlfriends would say. Maybe I gotta get new friends. They supposed to be like, I know that you prayed about this and you did not do what I thought you did. But I'll be like, girl, the food was so good. <laughs> so we put our butter in there, we put our garlic in there, and we're just gonna let it just kinda get nice and melted, okay? Looking good, looking good, looking good. Shake the pan. They always think you doing something when you do that. He ain't doing nothing. But like if she walk in and you at this step, or if he walk in and you at this step, or if they walk in, however you identify is at this step, then hey, guess what? You can just do this right here. And if you shake it, you'll see it start to foam up. Why? Because it started to emulsify. God I'm on fire today with these big words, boy. I tell you, I am. So you put that in there. And because it is date night, we got to pop a little bubbly. So we're going to make a champagne sauce, OK? So I'll take this off. Got a little bit. Thank you, Nancy. Nancy brought me some Moet, OK? And so we're going to be using this both ways. We're going to have a two-way. <laughs> so no way. Woo! Hey! Throw that in there like that. Oh. Oh my God. Oh, just leakage everywhere. Oh my God. It can't control itself. Then you want to hit it with some lemon juice. If you got it, fresh lemon. As you know, all the ingredients will be in the description box below, so don't you worry, okay? Now, what I want you to do, this is very simple, very easy. We're going to base this salmon, okay? So, you, if you're using a cast iron and the handle is hot, don't be like me, y'all, I've been cooking a long time, but you, uh, sometimes I will touch it, but this is really, really hot. Protect yourself, put a kitchen towel, some type of cloth around it, and then hold it, tilt your pan, and then you just want to kind of baste it. Super easy. See what I'm saying? Look at that. Look at that sauce. We just made a pan sauce, a one pan sauce. Amazing. Then to make them think that you done did something, we're going to put a little bit of food grass in there. You know what I'm saying? And then you can put like some lemons in there. And then you can just serve that family style. But we're done. We are done. We got 
our salmon dog, we got a sauce that's made, we have our potatoes that we hooked up, and we got our sauteed spinach. Let's plate it up, baby! So listen, this is how you do it. Let me show you. Super easy, they gonna think you done did so much. Can't be in that. You wanna pull your potatoes on now, okay? Now some people do a little swipe, okay? Don't, you know, however you wanna do it. Pull your potatoes on there like that right now, okay, like that. Go ahead and put you a little spinach down in there, okay? Put, you, put it on the side, just don't be a side chick. Now what you wanna do is you wanna take your salmon that you made that is, oh, it's so amazing and tender, it's just falling apart. You wanna just put that down in there like that. What I like to do, take all that little juice Okay, and just put that over there, just like that. Super eat, look, ooh, look at it run down there. All them juice, juices just dripping down the side of the mashed potato. Okay, and if you do this right, hers will be dripping too, amen? Praise God. Got your little lemon, you wanna do this? Take your knife, cut a little slit, okay? Twist it, pop lock and drop it. Okay, like this right here. Put that to the side. Look at there. And you look like you done did something. Look at that. Now, since we still have a little bit of champagne left, we can top it off with some champagne, okay? Super easy, and I have a few strawberries here. Cause you know, that's old school love right there, baby. <laughs> that's good, get on over here, good type of love. Yes, baby. Let me tell you something. My uncle be walked up, he be like this. Got you something for my girl, come on. Y'all know that little old man dance, so uncle don't be doing that at the fair reunion. Come on, they got you. Yeah, that's the old school little there with strawberries and champagne. So we're gonna put that in there like that. Pour you a little champagne, little bubby to get the party started. Okay, just like that. Then we're just gonna drop a few little, ooh! So you always wanna taste it, make sure it's good. Taste as you go, but you know, taste it. Mm, 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 mm. This is for the lover in you, this ring. Y'all gonna be singing, baby, after this meal, hey! Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you make this super simple, super easy, I can't cook type of date night food, okay? Hope it helps you guys out. I love all y'all. Be, be sure to be safe, wear your mask, and also check the description box for all the links and ingredients that you need, okay? Head over to stovetopkisses.com and follow me on all social media platforms. All right, let me know how it turned out for you when you make that. Later.